Okay, so we have been uh, here in Spain, in Nurka with Red Tread, riding an incredible bike, the Yamaha WR250F. Why is this one like a bit of a go-to and why, why does it work really well for, for what you guys are doing here with just people like me who never ridden off-road, total novice off-road and just jump on this and um, seem to be able to put it together after a few days. Yeah, uh, it's a great bike for it. Uh, Yamaha have hit on something quite good really with this bike because it is very, very user friendly. And for total novices, you can get on. Anyone who's never really ridden an off-road bike before um, can just get on it. It's a four-stroke bike. You can mm. ride it very, very easily. It's quite tame at the bottom end. Um, and if you want to ride it a bit quicker, you know, slightly more experienced riders, uh, it's also an incredibly good bike for the more experienced riders um, who, who are riding at the, at the top of the game, really. So mm. it covers both ends of the spectrum, and there's not so many bikes out there that do it as well as this one. No, no. And do you know, like, I, I think probably when I first looked at the website and I first looked at the, the spec and all that kind of stuff of, the, of this particular bike, you know, bear in mind, right, I'm riding mostly on the road and riding between like 600 and 1000 cc plus machines ranging from like 80 to 150 horsepower or something like that. You can tend to four stroke 250 with what, 40 horsepower? Yeah, up to 40 horsepower. Oh, yeah. this is this is going to be really, really slow. <laughs> Actually, my experience yeah. is it's about 10 times a better bike than I am rider. Yeah, to be honest, for doing what we do round here, um, I mean, we have some 450s in the fleet as well, but the 250 is uh, it's a perfectly adequate bike for uh, for doing what we do. You know, it's it's got more punch than you you really need for most situations, oh, and plenty. it's just a great smooth riding machine. Plenty. I, I I would say I'm about probably a year's worth of or two years worth of solid experience to kind of like max something like this out, yeah. Yeah. which which you, you're just not going to be able to like jump on. Um, you know, from a road bike and be able to ride one of these off road in in a in a great way. You just not you know the chalk and cheese yeah. skills aren't there. Yeah, I mean, it just if you ride a thousand cc road bike, it doesn't it automatically mean, it mean that anything. You're the, the biggest off road bike that's no. out in in manufacture. No, um, no, you, you, know, you just couldn't handle it. The the two fifty is uh, is a great bike, and again, the four fifty is also a great machine as mm. well, but. The 250 for us, we personally find that it is a, it's a much more versatile bike yeah, and, it, yeah. it, and it covers more bases. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think the other thing that comes with it is obviously um, the weight. You know, w what are these weighing? Uh, just over 100 kilos. 100 kilos. And that's probably one of the things that, that, that I've noticed really well. While it's quite tall and it does take a bit of getting used to kind of like jumping on such a tall machine, actually when you do drop it and you will drop it, um, they're not that hard to pick up, you know, and that's actually a massive, uh, massive deal. So, you know, like obviously I kind of grew up watching um, Long Way Around and all that kind of stuff and seeing Ewan and Charlie on a 1200 BMW, yeah, y y you know, it, you can't imagine picking no. that up. Well, it's, you know, it's more than twice the weight. It's 200 plus kilos. You yeah, know, it's just, so there's just, it's, there's just no chance. Yeah. Um, and and that's that's why that's why this is um, so amazing. The other thing that is um, super noticeable is how strong these things are. Um, you know, yesterday I, I haven't actually crashed it today, which has just been um, really great. But yesterday I had a couple of pretty decent offs first one about 30 miles an hour um, washed out and um, went down pretty hard to be honest and the second one chucked it off a cliff um, yeah that pretty much uh, <laughs> I think that describes it quite well <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know it's it, it, well it's barely got a flipping scratch on it and largely as was yeah yeah largely so. as was uh, it seemed, uh, no, it seemed the, to be it seemed to be bulletproof man. strong machine um it just you know well designed uh, the bits that are meant to be stuck out are stuck out and quite strong and everything that doesn't yeah. want knocking off i.e the radiators and stuff yeah uh, it's it's just tucked in quite well and it mm -hmm. is a, it's a pretty well protected bike and the uh you know the yamaha sump guard helps as well it just yeah they, they are they're a strong machine
very mm. strong machine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and really confidence inspiring. You know, I'm not I'm not sure when I started this this um, this few days. I was thinking, you know, I'm not sure whether this type of motorcycle will be for me. Um, but do you know, I'm leaving here thinking, yeah, do you know what? I could actually get into this and get into it in a in a, in a decent way. It's proper proper good fun and you know what i've learned a huge amount about motorcycling over this over these past couple of days and you know what like finally um what i just want to say as well is that if you're considering one of these bikes um and you're anything like me you're busy you, you haven't got a clue about off-road and you're totally new to it where do you where do you start really I, i'd actually recommend honestly and this is this is no word of a lie i'd really consider booking with red Tread, go on their site spend a couple of days actually come out here and these guys are going to take you all around some absolutely incredible terrain you'd never thought you'd be able to ride on a bike and uh and you can make the decision from there yeah okay give us a shout at some stage <laughs> okay so i'll put all the links in the description thanks so much for watching and uh yeah thanks to ed for all his hospitality and the team obviously um, over the last couple of days. Thanks for talking to us about the yep. bike, Ed. And, you know, thanks we'll, very much. We'll see you on the next video. Been an absolute pleasure. All right. Cheers, chaps. Cheers.